Let's start off our conversation here today with a definition of what is ISO 20022. Sure. And so in, at its most basic level, um, ISO 20022 is a global message standard that can be used for all types of financial communication. And the interesting thing about it is that it's independent of the parties, the counterparties that use it, be it banks, market infrastructure, uh, corporates, for example. It's independent of the business domain in the financial space. So it could be payment, securities, treasury, et cetera. And it's also independent of the network uh, that, that uses the standard. So that's, I would say, the first thing. Um, the second element, uh, just, just as a, a little piece of reference, um, ISO stands for International Standards Organization, and the standard is registered and published there. So in case people wonder, uh, you can go to that website and you find lots of information about, about ISO. Now, if we, if we go to the next level of depth, um, when people hear standard, they typically just think about message and a message description. But ISO 20022 gives us more than that. Um, and it really starts, uh, or it really is a comprehensive representation of the business model um, in the financial services space, right? Um, so the business model defines who are the actors? What are their roles and responsibilities? What information do these actors need to exchange? Um, it defines then from there singular business components and elements in that ecosystem, right? So it's kind of a dictionary, a, a business dictionary, if you want. That's kind of the most fundamental layer and important layer of, uh, of what ISO gives us. The, the second element is from there, what the standard does, it creates logical messages that support the business processes in in this uh, in this ecosystem right and and that is that is typically what we think of right we think of the different message types for example uh, a credit transfer um you know how that that is you know what, what comes to mind when people think about iso 20 or 22. but with that that's just I, i'd say the second layer is merely a logical structure of uh, of these messages and then the third component is um, the physical representation of, of the message and how it's being used in, in our technologies. Uh, and it's kind of the, the, the syntax. And for, for ISO 2022, uh, the most commonly used syntax is XML. So, so a lot of people will, will kind of say, oh, ISO 2022, that's an XML message, uh, which is true at the moment because that's how we use it, but it's not it is not a necessity. So, so the, the core components in terms of the business model as well as the logical messages could be used with a different syntax at some point in the future, right? If our technology changes and something better come, than XML comes up, we could actually easily change and switch to, 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 uh, to a different types of syntax. Um, so that's, that's in its core what ISO 2022 is. And, and maybe just a, a, a quick uh, uh, comment on, one of the reasons why we're talking so much about it at the moment in the payment industry is because a lot of the, the, the major high value payment uh, market infrastructures are actually moving to and adopting to this, uh, the, this standard. So there's a lot of work going on. 